this video i'll be going to explain transfer function and to have a understanding of transfer function these are my session outlines where i'll be explaining basics of transfer function different types of transfer function properties of transfer function and then to summing up this session at the end i'll explain what are the advantages and disadvantages which is there with transfer function so let us begin this session with basics of transfer function transfer function gives relationship in between input and output so for example if i say this is what my system and this system is provided with input over here and it is having output over here then transfer function is a ratio of output to input transfer function that is what a ratio output to input here if i say my output is cs and my input is rs then transfer function that is what a ratio of output to input and over here in this ratio one can see there could be a transfer function and that transfer function may have numerator polynomial and denominator polynomial numerator polynomial gives idea about how many zeros are there and denominator polynomial that gives idea about how many poles are there so transfer function gives idea about input and output relationship of given system where polynomials are there at numerator and denominator numerator polynomial explains number of zeros and denominator polynomial explains number of poles when we talk about different types of transfer functions then there there are basically one can classified transfer function in two parts one is proper transfer function and one is improper transfer function now what is proper transfer functions proper transfer function means a transfer function which is having more number of poles compared to number of zeros it means if poles are more then order of denominator polynomial is greater than order of numerator polynomial so that transfer function is considered as proper transfer function when we talk about improper transfer function in that case one can see zeros are greater than poles it means order of numerator polynomial that is greater than order of denominator polynomial so this is how one can classify transfer function in two parts proper and improper in proper transfer function number of poles are more and in improper transfer function number of zeros are more so that is how it is been justified let us move on to next point which is properties which are associated with transfer function so transfer function is just a laplace transform of given system's impulse response so if somebody is having impulse response in time domain for a system then by having a laplace transform one can identify a transfer function of given system so by having a impulse response one can calculate that transfer functions can be determined by input and output pair with a ratio of laplace output to laplace input so that is how one can calculate transfer function but transfer function is independent on input it is based on system it is not based on input but at the end it is giving a ratio of output to input based on system's response but it is not like output and input ratio which is what transfer function it is exactly system's response so when we calculate that at the time we see what is system's impulse response and then by having a laplace transform we calculate that transfer functions gives poles and zeros and based on that one can identify stability of system so characteristic equation even can identify stability of system and why system is unstable and stable that even i will be explaining that in bode plot nyquist plot ruth lucas in control systems lectures and here in my playlist of control engineering one can observe i have explained stability by almost all methodology which is there associated with control system engineering and that is what we are doing it by having poles and zeros the transfer function is defined only for linear time invariant system that should be clear to all transfer function is not applicable to non linear system it is applicable to linear time invariant system so for non linear systems we don't define transfer function the reason is transfer function for non linear system changes with respect to frequency that changes with respect to time so transfer function is only defined for linear system 
let us discuss few advantages which is there with transfer function it is a mathematical model that gives gain of the given block or given system so it is just giving mathematical modeling and where that mathematical equations can be very useful to understand how systems performance is associated how characteristic of systems is associated it even gives idea about stability of system so all those analytical reasoning that we can have it by having a mathematical modeling of given system and that is what we are studying it by having a transfer function integral and differential equations of given system is easily uh, is converted in terms of simple polynomial uh, by having a laplace transform so one can easily understand what are the things which is happening inside of that system so before we use those systems in terms of differential and integral form we translate that into laplace transform so we will be having polynomial uh, in terms of as domain and that is what one can utilize that to have understanding of analytical reasoning of any given system if a transfer function of in, uh, system is known then output could be calculated Uh, by any input which is given poles and zeros can be calculated transfer function is independent on the inputs so one it should be clear to all transfer function is not depending on input yes it is a ratio of output to input but it is independent on input so based on a system's response one can calculate what is transfer function let us discuss few disadvantages which is there with transfer function so when we talk about transfer functions transfer functions is only valid for linear time invariant system one cannot use transfer function for non linear system transfer function is only valid for linear time invariant system it does not take account of initial condition so when we have a transfer function it is not taking any account of initial condition and if initial condition is different in that case it is possible output may change with respect to input it may be like by a theoretical calculation you might be having some calculation of output but if initial condition changes it is possible out may be different with respect to what you are assuming with respect to fixed input so it does not take account of initial condition it does not give any idea about how the present output is getting progressed so transfer function does not give idea about how present output is getting progressed it does not give any prediction of future signal it only gives idea about output with respect to input and that to with fixed conditions it is not like if initial conditions are changing then output will be fixed it is, it may change but it just gives you theoretical idea about if input is this what could be output based on its simple response so this is what about transfer function thank you so much for watching this video you can observe complete control system series over here with this uh, lecture so if somebody is studying control system they that is what very useful for them to understand stability and control engineering so stay tuned with this channel subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this